Hello and welcome back to the Parenting Expert podcast. I'm Jo Studholm, your host, and today we're tackling a topic crucial for every family, choosing the perfect push chair. For new parents navigating the overwhelming world of push chairs, it can feel like an Olympic sport, but fear not because we have today an expert here to guide us. Joining us today is Ryan, a stroller extraordinaire for my candy, a brand renowned for its innovative and award-winning pushchair designs. So whether you're a city dweller navigating bustling streets or an adventurous family seeking all-terrain options, iCandy has a stroller to fit all your needs. So hello, Ryan, and welcome to the Parenting Expert podcast. Hi, Joe. Thanks for having me on. Really you're- looking forward to it. Excellent. So are we. So are we. So let's kick things off with a bit of a brand introduction. Ryan, for those people who haven't encountered the magic of eye candy yet, can you tell us a little bit about the brand's philosophy and really what sets it apart in a very, very crowded pushchair market? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So uh, a brief bit of history. Um, eye candy has been going since 1933. Wow. We're family owned. We're now in our fourth generation. Um, so we've got plenty of heritage in, uh, in the nursery industry. Uh, we're based in the UK. So that's from our design and engineering right the way through to customer services and repairs. Um, and on top of that, we have a, an extended team out in China as well, working in the design engineering, um, as well as the QC in the factories. But for me, for me personally, um, the, the thing that sets iCandy apart is its commitment to innovation, uh, quality and design. Um, that's what I really love being a part of personally. It, I mean, it, it really is has become, particularly I would say over the last sort of 10 years, a brand that's re- a real trusted choice for families, hasn't it? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, we've become really, really, really well known now. Um, and a lot of a lot of push uh, purchasing now is done through word of mouth. Um, so we've got up a really, really, really good reputation. Um, deserving so yeah and obviously we all know as parents that safety is absolutely paramount can you walk us through sort of the safety features that eye candy incorporates in, into your push chair designs you know how important is safety i mean yeah i mean it, it goes without saying really but safety is a given for our products um it's, it's the first thing we think about so it's a case of making sure we, we re- meet all of the relevant safety standards and then Above that, we have um, nearly 40 extra tests that incorporate safety testing from other standards. Um, to give you kind of examples of that, we test 25 kilograms in the seat instead of 22. Our push chairs are uh, tested to ensure that we can fold them 20,000 times. Wow. Um, that, yeah, that's. Hang on, hang on. Re- rewind. How many times? That's 20,000 times. So there, um, that is that's done manually as well. Um, and that is, that's not just an arbitrary number we've picked out there. That is, um, that is based on the kind of expected use we, we see a parent using throughout the lifetime of the product. Um, so we base it on how many times you're going to fold it a day, how long do we expect the product to last, um, sort of 10 years or so. So, uh, it's often high numbers, but, um, and that's, that's where we go above and beyond really. And all of that extra testing means the kind of quality of our product is top draw. And it allows us to offer things like a five-year warranty, um, so that we, because we can back the quality because of all the extra testing we do. Yeah, and I suppose you know your five-year warranty, um, you know, it, it's quite unique in the industry, isn't it? So there's there's obviously you know a lot of thought gone behind that that you you know your products are going to last, you'll know your products are go- are good. Yeah, exactly. Um, we wouldn't be able to offer it if we if we. Uh, you know, if we got hundreds of returns, we wouldn't be able to offer it. So it's, it's uh, our, the above and beyond testing is really key. And that's how we, we can offer that five year warranty because we know the products are going to last that long. They're designed to last a lot longer. So um, we know that five years always covered. Yeah. And I think that's a massive reassurance for parents because, you know, let's face it, buying a push chair is not cheap. You know, we'll make no bones about it. It is an investment and you want it to last, don't you? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's an investment. Um, so yeah, it's designed. Five years will see you through through the first uh, first round of you up until the child, you know, walking uh, and, and not moving the pushchair anymore. Yeah, I mean, but let's look at eye candy because obviously your pushchairs come in all different shapes and sizes. Can you elaborate on the sort of different eye candy models that are available now, and how on earth does a parent choose the perfect fit for their needs and lifestyle? 
Okay, so I've, we've got four main models at the moment, so I'll run you through those. Um, we'll start off with Peach 7. That's what, really what we're best known for. Mm -hmm. um, it's in its seventh generation now. Uh, so we've had it for over 20 years. Um, it's, it's sort of sophisticated and class leading is how we sort of describe it. Um, we've, we've got Peach 7 All-Terrain, which is our newest launch. That's part of the Peach collection, but it has larger wheels, more suspension and a three and four wheel mode option. So that's sort of suited more to the adventurous parent um, that's going on dog walks and, and lives in the countryside. Yeah. We've, we've got Orange 4, which was released in February this year. So that's single to double strap the box. So if you're not sure on the gap of uh, children, if you're planning that far ahead, um, it's perfect for that. It's multifunctional. It's got 30 different configurations and it's tailored towards those sort of growing families. Um, the final one to talk about is Core. So that's our super innovative single push chair. So that there's a lot of nice features on there, but the, the multi mode is kind of key. So it allows you to swap between wheel sizes. So that's again, ideally suited to catering to different lifestyles. So in terms of how to choose, consider your lifestyle, consider your budget, um, pop into your local stockist and, and have a play with as many as possible, really. Um, it's all about, can you fold it? How do you push it around the store um, and use all the features? And then you can weigh up what, what really works best for you. And I think that's really important, isn't it? You know, when you are making that purchase is to pop along to your local store and try, try them, test them, because what's right for one person might, you know, might not be right for another person. And, uh, you know, I have to ask, Ryan, do you have a favourite pushchair in the range? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> um, my, my daily is the Peach 7. Um, right. We used it because we could double it up. Um, so it's perfect for my for my two. Um, it, it, there's a reason we're really well known for it. It's a, it's a very solid push chair and it's, it's been 20 years in the making. Um, it, you, you were spot on there, pop in into your local stockist and use as many as possible. Or the, the, there's a lot of baby shows um, that are held in like the NEC and places like that. They're great to visit as well because you, you want to use as much as possible, as many different brands and as many different models as you can so you can choose the right one for you. Oh, abs I absolutely agree. I mean, I, I have to say, I think my favourite push chair in your range at the moment is the All Terrain. Um, I actually had the original jogger many, many years ago, and I've also had a peach, which I've used for my own children. But the, the new Peach 7 All Terrain is a fantastic product. But there again, it suits my lifestyle. I live in the countryside. You know, I'm the sort of person who goes, you know, for walks down bridleways. If it, it is about getting something to suit your lifestyle, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, you've hit the nail on the head there. It wouldn't be perfect for someone in, that lived in the city centre, but for someone that's um, walking down Bridal Pass every day, it's absolutely perfect. So it's, yeah, as you said, um, try them out and, and pick the best one for you. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, as we've said, push chairs come in all different shapes and sizes, you know, just like our families. But comfort is so crucial for parent and your baby. So how does iCandy designs its push chairs to ensure that there is a smooth and comfortable ride for our little ones? So there's a there's a lot of research and science and there's a lot of testing. So um, our fab is designing sort of outside to in. So you start with the inside and out. Sorry. So you start with the baby and work outwards. So mm -hmm. we start with plush fabrics with plenty of wadding, um, large as large um, a possible carry cots and seats that are well ventilated. And that's all based on anthropometric data. Yep. Um, yep. In terms of for parent, we take a parent ergonomics into account. So you've got variants in handlebar height, nice leatherettes as a touch for touch points. Um, and then we, we test all of this via user trials, which again is something really special. So before a product goes to market, we'll, we'll give real life parents sort of three to 12 months of real life use. Um, it's, it's something you can't test in the lab. So that, that's, um, that's really key. Find out how parents deal with it every day. Is it going to the boot easily? Is it easy to use? And then on top of the kind of base model, in terms of comfort, you've got lots of extra accessories you can you can uh, you can add around. So foot muffs for the winter, parasols for the summer, um, and that's that's the the thing to always consider. Um, yeah. When you yeah, and it's you know I don't think parents realise how much testing and how much thought goes into bringing a pushchair to market. It is immense, isn't it? Yes, yeah. I mean, um, three to five years is normally the uh, 
um, standard sort of design time from the first concept sketch we do right the way through to it arriving in the warehouse and shipping out. So it's a, it's a long process um, and that takes a lot of um, discipline and, and research to kind of uh, follow through. So at the very start of projects, we're, um, as I said, we're doing lots of research. We go to things like Milan Design Week, car shows, fashion runways, because you're designing so far in the future. Mm -hmm. You've to make sure it's relevant then. Um, and all of that um, kind of commitment to innovation and, and design, um, it, that's, that's really what um, makes our products well designed. Um, and, that, and that's what pays off. You know, for example, um, we've got, and this comes back to the user trials as well, all of our folding buttons are grey, and that's so that if your grandparents have got the push here for the weekend, you can explain it over the phone. Um, and that's that's uh, they're, they're designed for real life use, and that's um, that's why it takes so long. <laughs> that's why um, that um, and that's that's what you're paying for as well. So it's years of hard labour. Yeah, it, absolutely. And you know, as I, I heart back to you know, your push chair is that investment, and people need to be able to use it. Grandparents need. To be able to use it you know and if you have made that investment on a push chair you're putting your child in the push chair and let's face it we know that spills happen accidents happen can you tell us the best way to clean and maintain an eye candy push chair which i suppose will go across all push chair brands but for eye candy what's your advice yeah of course i mean um i talk from personal experience here um catch stains early that's always my top <laughs> good luck with um, that one yeah, a kind of misconception we often get as well is, is color choice, uh, particularly with the fabrics. So um, without being too graphic, um, I would say don't worry about color. You know, darker colors are better for stains at the back and lighter colors are better for stains at the front. Um, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, so so but honestly, you, you don't need to worry about color choice. Um, it's one of the kind of key questions we get asked at baby shows. Um, in terms of the plastics and the metals, uh, a wet sponge and a brush is is normally enough. Um, then they don't require any sort of special maintenance. They're designed to not not need it. Um, and to be honest, after a few months or you're on your second child, you're a little bit, you'll be a little less worried. <laughs> That's uh, the, the other thing that we offer, um, again, is a bit above and beyond. We offer something called an eye service, which is like a sort of MOT. It's like a full spruce off of your push chair. So some parents choose to do it between children or if you're going on to sell it um, or you're going to hand it down to a family member. So, uh, so that's always that's always an option. Um, I would always say as well as the final sort of tip is keep an eye on our social media feeds because we often share little tips and tricks on how to how to clean. Um, as I said, don't worry too much about it, but um, they, they'll still function if they're if they're mucky. But um, <laughs> I know everyone likes to keep a nice shiny just yeah. Yeah, but sometimes everyday life means that it's not going to be as shiny as it was when you took it out of the box. Let's face it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So parents love accessories. You know, we we all absolutely love accessories. But what are the most popular eye candy accessories? And, you know, do they enhance the user experience? Are they important? Yeah, of course. Yeah, they're, they're, they're all designed to, for, they've all got a special function. Um, I, I, I'd like to say here, because this is where the importance of bundles comes in. Mm. Um, you don't have to worry about, choosing each um, individual accessory. So for example, um, we basically throw every accessory we do into the bundles. So you get a better value and you get everything you need first time. So, you, you know, if it's, if it's the middle of winter, you're not thinking about parasol, but it saves you then coming back to buying one later. Um, I suppose the, the most popular and enhancing user experience changing bags is key. That's the thing that you'll use the most whether your child's in the push chair or not. It's your daily, thing you use it's got all of your uh, your nappies and everything else you'll need in and often you use it after the push chairs um uh, kind of come through its life cycle absolutely um, absolutely and i think changing bags have changed a lot and you know i've seen them change over the years with eye candy you know they are now a functional bag that mum and dad you know don't mean to be stereotypical but mum and dad will carry you know gone are the days where there's a pink one with teddy bears for mum and a a blue one for dad they they are ultra functional now aren't they yeah and and you've you've hit on a key thing for us as well it's about being unisex in design as well making sure that dad would be comfortable wearing it mum's comfortable wearing it and it's as practical as possible they are a, a functional as much as a fashion piece as they are they're also very functional so they've got to have the pockets the 
um, that open up easily because, um, you know, if you're out and about and, uh, and you need to change, change baby quickly, um, you need to be able to access everything as easily as possible. And believe me, that happens at the most inopportune moments, doesn't it? Uh, yes, yes, it certainly <laughs> does, yeah. Um, the other thing, I suppose, is um, you, you've got a lot of specialist accessories as well, that, um, depending on your push chair. So um, for Orange 4, we do things like colour splash canopies, so you can change up the look of your push chair, or we do travel bags. So if you want to take your peach on holiday, it's a nice big bag that you can put it in the hold and not worry about it getting um, getting damaged. But we, where we can, we, we try and integrate accessories. Um, so our, we're quite well known for our built-in ride-on boards or buggy boards. Absolutely. Um, it just means you, I appreciate most people are very focused on baby number one, but that ride on board becomes so useful for getting um, your eldest to preschool on time. Again, I'm talking from personal experience there, but when we build it into the push chair, it means you haven't got to come back two years later and, and spend another hundred pounds. It's already there and it's, you've already paid for it, basically. And I think that's the one thing that, you know, having worked with eye candy for such a long time is, is that future proofing that, you know, that ability to help the parents and support the parent, because let's face it, you know, when you're having your first baby and it's all new and everything's new, it's hard to think, well, what if I have another one in two years time? You know, you just think about that first child, whereas, you know, particularly with things like, you know, the Orange 4, where you've got that one box solution, eye candy's done all the thinking for you, hasn't it? Yeah, exactly. And and we do a lot of um with you know a nice technical term here ethnography so we often will go out and watch how parents actually use your products and that was actually how the ride on board was was born out of um we we went to a zoo in this case actually and we were we were looking at how people were uh, transporting children and then trans trying to transport their oldest um yeah. and you have bikes lent up against push chairs or scooters dangling off handlebars and that's where the ride on board was was built out of um and uh and that's that's where that kind of innovation comes in, and that's why we um, we're always trying to think what what the parent needs and where, where we can uh, we can add extra value. Yeah, no, I think you know I think that's good, and I think the built-in ride on board is quite frankly genius. So well done. Um, so kind of looking to the future, obviously sustainability is a growing concern for parents, and it's it's in the media day in day out. Does eye candy incorporate any eco-friendly practices or materials into any of your pushchair designs? I, I think the first thing we'd always say is quality of the product is key. Um, so it, it keeps it out of a landfill as long as possible. You know, we've we've still got pushchairs knocking around now that are still in use that are 20 years old. So that's that's the first thing um, yeah. we, we want it to last. Um, as with every company, we're always trying to become greener. Um, so we've recently, as of this year, we've put in a um, it's ISO 1401 management system. We've got a sustainability task force. Um, so we're starting to implement improvements across the business. Um, it's all about those sort of incremental steps that don't compromise our quality or our service. So we're we're always trying to improve and, and making sort of baby steps with it. And I think, um, so I was just going to say, I think that's really one of the things that you mentioned um, a moment ago is about having a push chair that will last and is not going to end up in landfill. And, you know, it, that's so important because, you know, we are a use and, and dump society, unfortunately. But I suppose with the eye candy going from one to two, it it has that sustainability in that way. And, you know, let's make no bones about it. A, a quality product as a parent, you can use it when you don't need it anymore. You can actually sell it on. So, you know, that's really important as well, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And a lot of people hand them down to, you know, younger siblings or family and um, to friends or, as you said, sell them. I mean, they hold the value really well. Yeah, they um, do. A lot, a lot of things, it's something that a lot of parents don't think about. Um, as you said, it's an investment, but they do hold the value um, and they last for, for absolute years. Um, I mean, the other thing in terms of sustainability front, um, we we're always looking to the future so we've recently just won an if award for our eye candy regen so we're it's a that's a sort of sustainable push chair concept so we're we're looking to the future it's always easier to as you bring a new product out make it more sustainable in terms of material choice and packaging and and um, and logistics so it's it's um that's where we're looking it's, it's at the forefront of our minds as a business now
I think that's really exciting, you know, and, um, you know, the world is completely full of adventure, whether it's as a business or, you know, as a parent. But are there any eye candy push chairs? I know we've touched on this, but are designed for those active families that enjoy exploring the great outdoors. Yeah, I mean, uh, Peach 7 All-Terrain springs to mind. Um, <laughs> got lovely, lovely big wheels, soft punch proof tyres, bags of suspension. It was it was a lot of fun testing that one. Um, we were pushing it through ploughed fields, getting muddy um, to make sure when you say all terrain, you've got to make sure it really is all terrain. So we um, we went to went to town on that one. Um, the, and then the fabrics, they were designed around like sports utility fashion. So the sort of soft shell and protective on the outside and then super plush on the inside. So that that kind of the, the person you've described there, the family you've described there is exactly who all terrain was sort of aimed at. Yeah. And then to cater to kind of a slightly different market was core. So you might be living in the city centre, you can have the small wheels on, um, but then you might go out, out to the countryside or to one of the parks and, and then you can put your big wheels on and and, um, and, uh, and go off road there. So two kind of products there that, that cater to slightly different needs, but both adventurous parents. Absolutely. I mean, parenting is a journey and, you know, so are the needs of our children. So can you tell our listeners how eye candy push chairs adapt and grow with the needs of your child, you know, as they grow up and as they develop? Yeah, so it's uh, it's a key a key thing we're thinking about throughout the whole design process. So our push chairs are suitable from birth um, via a carry cut or life flat seat right the way through to 25 kg, which will see you through to a four year old, maybe a five year old. Um, we've touched on the doubling up of peach and, and orange in case you decide to have another child close together. I mean, for example, so my two children have got a two year, one month gap. So we doubled up our peach. We had my little girl in the carry cot and my son in the seat. Mm-hmm. And the ride on boards again, um, now that they're both a bit older, he stands on the ride on board. Um, but we, we're always considering the, we consider the anthropometrics of that, of that child. So, um, harnesses are designed to go that so you've got the calf support the headrest um just to make them as comfortable as possible so we're thinking about the needs of, of the child um i suppose another thing to touch on is my chair as well so that's that was um very interesting as a project so it's designed from birth up to sort of six to eight years so just, um, so, just to interrupt you for those people who are not aware of what my chair is it's eye candy's high chair isn't it exactly yeah so Whenever we bring a, a, a product out, we always try and look at how we can be innovative. And with my chair, it's about making it more than a two year product. It was about what can we, what value can we add to, to the consumer? So it, it's a, it's a high chair that first of all, you have a newborn pod, which sits on top. And that's a, that's a really lovely feature where you can have your newborn at table height sat with you having dinner. Mm-hmm. Um, you then remove that to turn it into what we'd call a standard high chair and then you can remove the lower legs and it becomes a seat um, that you can then you know pull up at a desk for up to a sort of six to eight year old um, it's an absolutely it's a beautiful product to start with but it's an amazing product to live with um, and and again because that's got a slightly longer lifespan we we offer that with a 10-year warranty a 10-year warranty that's amazing yeah exactly yeah um, and, and again we can do that because of the quality and the um, and the testing we've we've spoken about earlier. So, you know, you just talked about you know my chair and innovation is absolutely key in the parenting world. And personally, I love seeing any innovation that is going to support parents and help parents. So, what exciting advancements can we expect to see for my candy in the future? Come on, give it, give us, give us some, give us some, um, some news that nobody else knows. Um, I can't say too much. All I can promise is it will be innovative. Um, but the next 12 months are going to be really, really exciting for us. Um, we're entering a couple of new product categories. Um, so, yeah, watch this space. Oh, well, we're going to have to stay in touch so you can tell us as soon as you're allowed to spill the beans, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> so, Ryan, as a, as a bit of a parting shot, um, you know, what advice would you give to brand new parents who are embarking on that journey of choosing their very first pushchair? Um, I think there's there's so much to learn and in, in such a short amount of time. So it can feel overwhelming. But um, 
I would say local stockists are fantastic. They're really knowledgeable. Um, they've got a lot of products on hand to, tr to try. Mm -hmm. You've got the baby shows. But I think most importantly, enjoy it. Um, being a parent is a lot of fun. So um, you might be apprehensive, but it, it's, uh, it's the best thing you'll do. It's absolutely fantastic. Oh, I completely, completely agree. You know, it, it can be a little bit stressful at times, but there is nothing better than hearing your child laugh for the first time, seeing them smile and, you know, seeing them meet their milestones, you know, whenever that is. And, you know, parenting is a journey. It's an exciting journey. There's a few bumps in the road, but it's a good journey. Yep, couldn't have summed it up better myself. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining us, Ryan. Um, you know, I'm sure that our listeners have learned a lot about eye candy, and I certainly have, even though you know I've known the brand for well over a decade. Um, we hope that you'll come back and join us soon. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no, you're more than welcome. Um, we're we're always uh, available to contact if people want more information. So come and visit us at the shows, or come uh, find out a bit more about us at, um, at your local stockist. That's brilliant. And, you know, thank you to all our listeners. Thank you for joining us. Without you, we obviously wouldn't have a podcast. So stay tuned for more exciting podcasts and make sure you're following us, of course. See you all soon. Thank you.